Oh, don't, you can't do that. How did you even get out here? I'm in the middle of nowhere. Listen, I came out here for a reason. I wanted to talk about something that I think is a secret little tool that a lot of people might not know about. You're watching Quick Effects, and today I'm gonna to talk about Ooh, bugs. No, not talking about bugs. I wanna talk about this little thing. It's called a monopod. Let's check it a look. This specific brand cost me about $11. Picked this up at meritline.com on sale. Now I twittered about this. Tweeted about this? Twittered about this. Twitter.com slash noptop. You would have been able to get this deal if you would have been following me on Twitter. This one comes with a little holster. Goes like that. You strap that thing on your belt. The reason I wanted to talk about this, and you might totally already know what these are, I've never thought about using these for a video. Now, I've seen photographers use them, usually on the sidelines of football games. You'll see them with a big old lens, and they'll have the stick. This is a monopod, and that's what they're using. Um, this one's, I'm just gonna set that there. Here's what's cool about this. I just happen to have a camera in my pocket. I'm gonna screw this on like so. Now, this one comes with a removable base plate, which is kind of nice, because you can just pack it away real quick, or strap it on like that. So right away, as you can see, as I'm holding this thing, Getting some ideas. Yeah, this acts as an instant stabilizer, especially for these smaller cameras. And it works also for like the DSLR cameras. Just without it being extended, you can see it adds some lower weight and you kind of use it as a glide cam if you wanted to. It gives you some nice natural fluid movements compared to just holding the camera. It works pretty well, especially with like a DSLR camera, which is what I'm recording on right now, so I can't show you, but the extra weight on top, you extend this down a little bit further, and it doesn't do too bad. But here's what's cool. This specific brand, Boom! What? Look at that. Is it, is it even in frame? Let me bring it down. This thing is like six foot tall, just about with the camera on it. Depends on this hill right here. You can leave this like this, and you can add nice little natural movements, but it'll still be steady as if it was on a tripod, but it won't be as static as it is like right now as you're watching me. Whew. Bugs. The cool thing about this is, since it's adjustable, you can kind of just set it on your knee if you want, and you're in a position like this, and you could record, I could record all day like this. Bananas. Bananas. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna safely set this right there. Here's your do-it-yourself fix. PVC pipe, this is a half inch. And at the end here, let me see, I think I got some in my pocket. There we go. You get a connector piece like that. End cap in the top, put a little 1 20 screw through the bottom there, add some washers just like this, like so. Stick that thing around the end, you got yourself an instant monopod. This will cost you about five bucks with all the little components, but it's changeable and you could use this for something else down the road. But here's what's cool about this. It works just as well. Oh, we're still recording with this little camera. It works just as well like this. And you could actually cut this up and add these little connectors at certain points if you wanted to make yours adjustable. The only problem is you gotta carry the extra pieces with you. So it's a little bit more cumbersome, but it definitely is a do-it-yourself uh, rig if you're more into that than having to go out and buy one. But I definitely would tell you to look into checking out monopods for your next video production, I think you're gonna be pretty happy. I can't believe I've never thought about them or even seen anyone uh, talk about them or use them up until this point. I'm sure a lot of people out there have used them. Leave a comment if you have, or give me some information if you got any other cool ideas for cool little camera stabilization. You can also see here, as I'm recording, you can use this for some nice aerial shots. So if you take this out to a live event and you're like, I wanna shoot, you can be like, what? You get up there about 12 feet. Six feet or so? 12 feet, yeah, whatever. Anyways, thanks again for watching. You're watching Quick Effects. Quick Fix, fast, fun, filmmaking effects, props and DIY stuff and everything else in between. Leave a comment. Be sure to rate this video. Thumbs up or thumbs down. Let me know what you think. Leave in the comments below and check out our homepage. Oh, that's a lot of information.
All right, so there you go, mono e mono pod. Either way, make it yourself or buy it yourself. These are definitely something to look into, the mono pod. If you like what you saw, leave a comment and also rate this video, thumbs up or thumbs down. Thanks for watching. Go make a movie. See ya. Smells like cow manure. Manure out here in the middle of nowhere. Manure in the middle of nowhere. Now what's so cool about this as far as video is concerned? Right away as you can see, it acts as a nice little stabilizer for these, especially for these smaller cameras. Bugs. Phew. <laughs> <laughs>